Hey guys, today we're going to react to a slightly more recent Million Dollar Extreme 2. This is Test Drive from Hell. YouTuber buys his dream car. Yeah. You know, it's been a long road starting on YouTube. No subscribers. And, you know, finally working up to the point where so. I can afford my dream car. The Fiat 124 Spider is truly awesome. And I thank God every day. I thank you guys. I thank the fans. Thank you guys so much for blessing me. I can't believe my dream car is only 30 grand. <laughs> Maybe you and me, we're going to be zipping around. I'm hyperventilating because I'm surrounded by my dream cars. I can't <laughs> He just spit right on the thing. I've never, um, I've heard of a, I was going to say I've never, yeah, I mean, I, I think I've been in a Fiat one time. I've been in like a tiny little Fiat, um, yeah, Italian cars are interesting and seemingly always tiny. Um, I know someone with an Alfa Romero. Romero, I don't, I don't know if I ever say it right, but wow. Believe it, dude. I'm so excited. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes! I can't yeah, believe I it. think this is funny because typically a YouTuber is going to have, a, especially around this time, it'd be like a G-Wagon or a Tesla. Five yes! days, I'm going to be taking yes! delivery of this Fiat 124 yes! Spider. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! It's like getting a blowjob from a guy! This car's like getting a blowjob from a guy! Yes! 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 This is great. Um, he's very spry, old Sam. You know, he can run around. Ah! Woo! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Are they at a lot? I guess so. The Mazda MX-5 has one big problem. Oh my god! If you gosh. tell any girl that you just bought a Mazda Miata, she'll say, oh my god, how cute! What's your boyfriend's name? And is it okay if um, I bring my partner with me? Sure, what's your name again? I'm sorry. My name is Sam Hyde. <laughs> what started as a YouTube riches to rags success story turned tragic when unmedicated online man Sam Hyde <laughs> unmedicated. <finally snapped> when <laughs> unmedicated <laughs> loco and took a car salesman hostage on a high speed race chase investigators raided this man's house and found videos of him confessing all the while laughing at the fear and terror of this poor man Sorry, I think we probably spoke on the phone about driving the Vion 124 Spider. We got in the, in the car, and right away it was. I love his um his voice. Like so his, uncomfortable, even before voice. doing anything. The guy, he's kind of like it's just it's really funny, you know. He's kind of portly. And Everyone's pretty. Every guy I know is pretty good at that voice. It's not that hard to do. I just, I, I just, I always, I don't know. I've always thought it was funny, and and there was a time I didn't hear men joking like that for a very long time and it's like very nostalgic for me from you know back when i was growing up i don't know on the bigger side i'm six four so we're shoulder to shoulder i mean we could have been sharing the same condom basically uh, it sure is a tight fit here you and me we're in here we're crammed in like sardines uh-huh can you believe it i can tell visually just from his skin and like the tensing of his muscles that even even before we started driving he really was not having a good time um being stuffed next to uh, <laughs> Mr. Huge Homo. Yeah. <laughs> I love his glasses, too. Um, he pulls off those glasses very well. That That is very funny, though. Like, I mean, like, like it's... Thinking about the way... I'm thinking about how this would feel in reality. Like, Sam's look and presence, which I've been around enough people to kind of gauge, and plus being, like, you know... <laughs> You know, you know how you flick your hand when you say, you know, oh my God. The, the music of conversation, okay. right? What was your name again? Bobby. What was your name again? Jesus, I don't want to ruin my audio. My recording. Okay. <laughs> Hostage court is all me? level. Oh, I'm just teasing you. I'm kidding. This is the other thing uh, that people don't know is that I smell. I don't, <laughs> I don't necessarily shower. I've never, I haven't worn deodorant in like six years. Okay, yeah. I have a strong fragrance to me. I'm a big ass air freshener. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go down and back on the highway real quick? I just want to feel 
We just passed the highway. We only have time for a five minute well, ride. You can't be driving it like this. You have to drive it Until your hostage breaks down and pays. Okay. You can't be driving it. I think this is one of the first times where uh, the, the, the vehicle has actually outrun the chopper. None of Rhode Island police I like could keep up with heights flamboyant hell ride. When we return, we'll see how our sales... None of the Rhode Island police can keep up with this flamboyant hell ride. I think I've seen enough of Sam's videos to know that the Rhode Island police are not that effective. Or at least the Providence police apparently are not that effective. The devil got him more than he bargained for as he clocks out for eternity. Crime Wire Tonight. Crime Wire Tonight. Back to our top story, where our transgender stunt driver puts the drag back in drag races. <laughs> Tonight, we investigate. Don't worry, I'm a certified race driver. I've gotten into so many accidents. So the guy I've tells me which exit to take, and I started pretending like I didn't know what to do, even though it's like very clearly obvious that you're supposed to take the exit on the right. Is it a left or a right here? The right. Okay. Right. Which right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I freaked out. And I didn't want to crash. That added about 20 minutes to our journey. Oh my gosh! We went right into like right into traffic. <laughs> we're not, we're not Which fucking traffic for an hour because you missed the exit. And not. A, I think that's an exaggeration. I think that's an exaggeration. <laughs> just like Bruce. There's a solid 20 minutes of just silence. Like sitting with this guy that hates hates me. I'm so I'm so sorry. Maybe you should drive us back. I was just fucking molested by the uh, Fiat salesman. <laughs> he, gra he grabbed at my crotch. Oh my gosh. The camera was on my crotch. <laughs> this is like a clown test drive right now. Well, I'm sorry, but I panicked because you were screaming. You know you're going to be stuck You were screaming, screaming at me. Trying to <laughs> figure out how to turn off a GoPro. Here we see the salesman's last ditch attempt to save his life and fight back by employing reverse psychology tactics taught by Joe Rogan, gay MMA. I hope you at least get <laughs> gay MMA. <laughs> Top of the show, fucking gay MMA. The commissioner said, I don't, I don't want the commissioner. Yeah, 60, 65 year old man. He's, uh, can you imagine that? I mean, he's going, imagine he's going through the settings like faster than I am. It's like, After he's right there on the shoulder right now, passing that box truck and going into. Little did this salesman know that his funeral will be conducted at 120 miles per hour and his final car commission will be a bullet to the skull. Crime wire tonight. <laughs> Crimes. Crime. Tonight, <laughs> America's most brutal crimes and criminals. Welcome back. Tonight we will watch deadly footage rated R for Was that a joke or a racing? Mistake? In which we will see the hostage make a last ditch attempt to save his worthless, pathetic life by calling the car dealership he works at. All the while, the madman <laughs> save his worthless, pathetic life by calling the car dealership he behind works the wheel at. will continuously taunt him. I did know a few guys who did car sales. Um, I, well, I've known a few people who've done car sales, and they were pretty miserable when they were doing it. And I know some, like, got a different career, and they were like, I'm never going back. <laughs> Has this comedian's <laughs> ultimate joke gone too far? But I know uh, Nick talks about it a lot on Scuffed Realtor. Whenever I watch Scuffed Realtor, it makes me want to get into sales, even though I have always avoided sales, like, my whole working life. <laughs> Jess, I'm on a test drive. I told him we couldn't go on the highway. He goes on the highway anyway. Starts taking the ramp on ramp like we're driving a Ferrari. Well, don't tell I Jess. I tell him what exit to take, and he deliberately keeps going straight. So I'm getting a little aggravated right now, and I honestly think he's recording stuff. I am not recording this. He's talking stupid, asking me if the car has a V8 engine. And so I'm getting pretty it's pissed got a lot off. Of pick when we come back, <laughs> I don't want to deal with it. Because right now we're stuck on 295 with bumper to bumper right, traffic. 40 he didn't miles take the an hour. Exit that I told him to take. Jeez. Deliberately, deliberately went to the left. When you I are a right. liar. You're lying about me, so, Jess. Uh, I have a feeling this. To Jess. <laughs> he is so good at. I mean, think about like I couldn't do. I I I probably wouldn't ever do anything like this. But like I just could not maintain the way he's maintaining. It's Maggie's so gut. Because I noticed the camera staring at me. There's it's not recording. a camera staring at you. I'm not recording. It's test drive. Test drive. This is the exit you want, right? <laughs> <laughs> you sure picked this 
small car to get into an argument in, didn't we? <laughs> it's like almost being in a closet. The car was going so it. fast that our team of highly trained and professional cameramen could not bring you the final moments of this car chase. If you pull one more drive and well, stunt, don't say it you're so, going to walk back. Don't say it so loud. Oh, yeah, it's me. You're the one screaming at me. I can't. This is so... Okay. I think you'd be the one walking back. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't push that if I was you. What are you going to do? Have the police come right up here to the car? It's happened before. I don't believe you. But at least this tale had a happy ending. Well, I love the car. That's the good news. Crimes. For the Fiat well, Carver, this is Dr. Chuck Nutt, signing off. Oh, wow. That was so intense. <laughs> All right, sailor, I'll see you tomorrow to work those numbers. You get out there and sell. All right, sailor. That was, uh, that was, I like that a lot. <laughs> um, you know, I don't know, ethically know how I feel about it, but it was like a, a boomer car, like Fiat salesman. So who knows? All right. Well, that was fabulous. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Okay. Bye.